Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have another legend. The man has simply earned it. Over the past year or so, actually longer than that, these Finnish guys have been going for wacky strategies. There was the legend of Rubenstock, where in big tournaments, he was dropping town centers on people, and they were getting victories. He did it in Nomad, he did it in Chaos Pit, he did it in big money events. And one of his pals, Yupe, who I've mentioned before in a few games, he TC dropped Spring and went for Vil fights and basically made the game a living hell for his opponent. He continues to do that. He's done it versus me. He's done it versus many people. And I think players should be rewarded for their ridiculous strategies in this game. Uh, it is all about strategy, after all, at the end of the day in Age of Empires 2. And... Uh, my opinions on, on whether or not I, I want this strategy to, to be seen more or less do not matter. Frickin' Yupe, man. He's here in the blue. He's playing as the Khmer guys. And he's up against poor Sony Toprano, who featured on my YouTube channel twice in the last month. Uh, I guarantee you, he's a great player. But unfortunately, he's been beaten by some wacky, wacky strats. <clears throat> so, I want to tell you a little bit about a conversation I had with Yupe. So, first off, I think three or four weeks ago, I joined because I wanted to play a few games. And if I'm being honest, I uh, I joined his game room because he's lower rated than me, and I felt like they would I wouldn't have a, an easy. Uh, sorry, I felt like I would have an easy time. All right, I admit it. I I got cocky. And uh, the first game I played, he TC dropped me, and then he made it my life a living hell, and then he ended up winning. Uh, so, anyways, that's already been on YouTube. You have to find the AOE2 challenge video from a week or so back, uh, that is one of the many games that I cast. Uh, but I spoke to him about this game in particular, and what he said was this. He said, people think TC drops are easy to stop, and believe me, I did. He said, but then shit hits the fan, things get hectic, and things fall apart. And I guess that's the name of the game here. I mean, he's playing with Khmer Civilization, which is one of the weakest civilizations in a 1v1 scene. In fact, I think statistically it's the weakest. And when he played me and when he's TC, TC dropped others, he normally has weaker civs and maybe that's the great equalizer. Uh, maybe you don't need to go for tower rushes and man at arms and YOLOs like that. In Feudal Age, if you're behind with the civ, you gotta go for the TC drop. So, obvious spoilers, Yupe is gonna go for the TC drop, except this one's gonna have a twist. Sony doesn't have the best Civ either, uh, he's playing as the Portuguese, but at least Portuguese have discount on their gold units. I think they're, uh, they're, I almost said unique technology, no, their unique unit is really good, the organ guns, or the piano cannons as I call them. There are more options in their tech tree as well, they get champions, they get fully upgraded cavalier, uh, they get fully upgraded halberdier, they get arbs, skirms. I believe they get Thumb Ring. I mean, I'm pretty sure they have more upgrades on ranged units than than Khmer do, so. But here's Yupe. And he has now found where Sony is. He's looking for flat ground. Flat ground to place a town center in Dark Age. The strategy is to create villagers from your TC as you send a bunch forward and then eventually delete your starting TC and rebuild it right on top of your opponents. Now, there's one bonus I haven't mentioned for Khmer. Khmer houses can be garrisoned inside. We will see that here, and it's gonna be very special. <laughs> oh, and apologies in advance if I laugh. Uh, I don't know if Sony Deprano watches my videos or streams, but dude, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, this is such a sad thing. So, Sony Soprano, I'm not sure why he did that. I think he wanted to push the deer through there. Or maybe he was thinking about building his barracks or his stable or whatever he's going to build there. But Yupe just found the opening. This is like Christmas morning. It's like, oh, thanks, Mom. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, now Sony sees the villager. I don't know why Yupe has clicked the villager so far to the north. And he's attacking the villager. But Yupe just gonna waltz right in, and he will place the town center. 
Oh, man. Sony, I'm not sure what he was up to, actually. He still hadn't clicked up to Feudal Age, but he let him into his base. He let the TC dropper into your base. Listen, if you're ever playing someone from Finland in Age of Empires 2, you should start walling at the third minute and never open them up, okay? Just don't do it, because you'll find a town center in your eco and it will not be pretty. This is a dream start for you, Pei. Sony is housed, things are looking sloppy for him, and like I like I did, he's probably really frustrated. Keep in mind that Yupe back at home, he's got some lumberjacks, he's got some some hunters, but this is this is it. He's not gonna have an awful lot. And he always does this. He always sends his sheep forward. And he is more, he's, he's TC dropping more often than you guys think. I'm, I'm going to tell you a bit more near the end of this video about it, but he definitely has a build order for it. Whether it's his or Rubenstock's, I don't know. But he does it more often than Rubenstock does now. This town center has 1800 HP and he's repairing. Uh, this town center here has 1500 HP and uh, Sony is, also, is still repairing. And normally I say get to Feudal Age as quickly as you can. Once you're in Feudal Age against this, start towering or just relocate your TC. But what Yupe starts doing is, if you lose his town center and try and rebuild one, he'll Vil Rush you. So, when I played him, I was expecting to rebuild the TC and be fine, but no, he ungarrisoned everything and started attacking me like Noboru. Okay, now Sony is on the way up to the next stage. Uh, and he's winning the TC war as well. Um, TC will re-aggro at times to the closest building, so you'll notice this house is on fire. That's another thing you can do if you're being TC dropped, is build some buildings closer to the TC than your town center is, and then that will help you out a little bit. Ooh, Yupe is distracting the town center fire. This is, Oh, this is so good. Oh no, Red, pay attention to it! Tony Soprano! Oh, man. That hurt. And in fact, he's just abandoned the idea of winning this TC war, I guess. Yeah, and he wants to build a new TC. I guarantee it. I guarantee you he wants to build a new TC here. Once he's in the next stage. Yupe's already scouting around to see what's going on. Remember, Yupe's in Dark Age. Yupe's been housed badly a few times. Uh, pretty sloppy, if you ask me. Red is running really low on wood because he's been repairing so much. Remember, Red, uh, he lost his scout. Wait, no, he didn't lose his scout. Where is his scout? Where is the scout? Where's the scout? Oh, it's right there. Okay, I was gonna say. Well, now, now he can attack here. He could have attacked before. Um, don't lose your scout to you, base TC. Oh, boy. Well, I guess he killed it. Okay, so doesn't it feel like Sony Toprano has done okay here? He's in Feudal Age. He can build towers. Uh, Yupe, he doesn't have the food to go up. This is the confusing thing about the TC drop. I mean, every time I see it, I think it shouldn't work. And yet it does. Sony Toprano figures, alright, you want to chop my wood? Well get hit in the face with some arrows now. I'm gonna build the tower on you. And there is that tower. Now, <laughs> there's something interesting about this situation. <laughs> villagers can run right by because Sony Toprano's villagers aren't anywhere near to garrison inside to shoot arrows. So Yupe is suddenly just passing. He gets to the hill. And he realizes, you know, I don't have as many villagers as, as, uh, as Red. So I need something to hide in. <laughs> I need something to hide in. So he's building houses with Kamur. <laughs> new meta, boys and girls. New meta. Now, I think the more lumberjacks that he pull, he gets Red to pull off of wood, 
the less wood that Red's gonna have to repair this TC. I, I guess that's the thought process here. Look, whoop, right inside the town center. Attack, 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 or not the town center, sorry, I'm used to saying that. The, uh, the house? Might as well be the town center, he's Khmer. <laughs> he just advance in with houses. Now, it's still not gonna be easy, but, but Red is clicking like a madman, I'm sure. Look how idle this wood line is. Another house? Okay. Another house? Meanwhile, Red is soon out of wood. He will soon lose this TC. Oh, Yupe loses one vil. He's really not the fastest player. That, that, that's what's the that's the frustrating thing. When I lost to him, I was like, how? Why? Why God why? <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> Red is building gates around his houses. Hey! You need a building permit to build here. These are people's homes. Oh! He's just house glitched through! Alright! Wait, no, there was a hole there. Whatever. How do you even cast this game? Send help. Send help. Look at Red's economy. He's completely out of res. He has no food, sorry. Uh, he can't build more villagers after this one. You know what the strategy you have to do uh, against Yupe? You have to just send the barn, as Dave would say. You really have to send everything. Because you gotta clean that up as soon as possible. Meanwhile, Yupe has a bajillion farmers working. And by bajillion, I mean 14. So his economy is, is actually stronger. But I, I think when the, when he started building these houses, Red just needed to send more. I think. I mean, maybe that's what Yupei wants. I think that is what Yupei wants because Yupei is ecoing so hard. It's probably what Yupei wants. Let's be real. It's probably what Yupei wants. Well, I think these houses were successful. I think they have good resale value later on. Uh, it's a historical section of town. <laughs> and now he's building gates around uh, Sony's TC. Everyone wants to watch this guy, but believe me, no one wants to play him. So when Red does create new villagers, he, it, he won't be able to get the villagers to any resource. And here is where... What is Red doing? Is he do is he sending the barn? Don't send this barn. Well, he's built a tower here. He's repairing this house. He's building this tower. So this will range some farmers. Yupei will be in trouble there. And Yupei's lost some villagers around this TC. So Red can garrison. And now he's, he's beginning to shoot Yupei's town center down. So maybe he feels like he's got it now. I mean, he is in feudal age. He's killing more villagers here. He has an archer range. Dude, I... I actually... Red has done a really good job. You just need to avoid the tilt. At some point, you no longer have interest in continuing. Like, that's what happened to Spring when Spring played Yupe in that... That craziest TC drop video. Spring just gave up. He just quit. It wasn't worth it. It's not worth the amount of points you get. Yupe could click up the Feudal Age if he would like. But uh, he will have less villagers. He's, lo he's losing more to this tower. He needs to abandon this area and go elsewhere for farms. Okay, Yupe's still been running around with these houses. Uh... He now needs wood to repair his town center. And Red, if he sees that, will probably feel good about his situation. He says, okay, he doesn't have wood, that's perfect. No wood means no TC for Yupei, and I will have successfully defended this. Where is Yupei chopping at? Okay, he's sending villagers back to that lumber camp. That's actually how bad it is. He can't afford another lumber camp forward, so he had to send the villas all the way back. I mean, like I said, these games are so ridiculously messy. Oh, only 690 HP for Yupei's TC. Only 350 HP for Sony Toprano. Sony Toprano's abandoning the town center as well. Oh, no. And now Yupei is back in business with this freaking town center war. How? 
And now Sony regrets running away. He's coming back. Oh no. And if his town center goes down, he might just end up losing hope. Because Yupe will have made it to Feudal Age alongside him, but he has a TC. He has some farms. He has some food. <laughs> Yupe is sending the villagers. Oh no. See, this is what I mentioned. He wants to stop Red from building a TC. Oh. I love it and I hate it. It's like pretty much how my parents feel about me streaming video games. Uh, okay, I've changed the HP bars to blue and red. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. How tilted do you think Sony Toprano is right now? Oh my god, he's attacking the TC from this side! He could win or lose the game right here. I think the Tilda's got to him though. Yupe runs back to his TC. He's garrisoning. He's repairing. And if he can get just enough HP on his town center, his town center will shoot enough arrows to one-shot Vils, so... Oh no, Red's population is dropping. He, he's, he's tilted. He's given up. He's given up hope. He's given up on life. Every Vil he has is here. Ayupe has successfully given someone else in the Age of Empires 2 community nightmares. Oh my god. I like how he still feels like, I have a chance. I can do this. As Yupe repairs and attacks and repairs and attacks. And repairs. Repair, Yupe. Repair, Yupe. Okay. Repair. And attack. And repair. And it, no more repairs, just attack. 16 villagers for Sony. It ends in vil fights. It ends in more gore. And this is the end of the game for Sony. He has no town center to run to. He has no economy anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, poor guy. And he just calls it. He has 11 population. And he calls the GG. I spoke to Yupe. The same conversation I mentioned earlier. Um, and he, you know, we talked about this game briefly. I told him I was going to upload it. I told him he was going to become a legend. Uh, he has played for years and years. And he does play at a pretty high level uh, when he's not TC dropping. But I said to him... You know, congratulations, because Sony Toprano is a pretty good player. I played Sony Toprano probably three dozen times. And he said, oh yeah, I play Sony Toprano all the time. <laughs> and then he said, I've TC dropped him like a dozen times. And now I feel so much worse, so, so much more bad, so much more. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine for poor Sony. <laughs> so apparently this is a regular thing. So I know that Rubenstock, he kind of started off the TC dropping trends for the Finnish players. But Rubenstock did it a few times in tournaments. And Yupe, he has TC dropped this one player a dozen times. And then me, and then many others. It's just his thing. So I think my response was something like, uh, by the way, I will never ever play you again. <laughs> and that is true. It's not worth it. It's not worth it whatsoever. You go ahead and play somebody else. So here's the achievements. Uh, 34 kills for Yupe. 3,000 food collected. Um, the thing that I realized with all these TC drops is usually what he does is he stays in Dark Age. And while you're scrambling to get new town centers up, and in this case, he was he was trying to vil fight, and Red was trying to vil fight and stuff, Yupe just farmed. So I really felt like Red had a chance when he got the tower up on the farms, but then Red ran out of wood, and he lost his town center, and then he just he just tilted. And honestly, at that point, had he not vil rushed Yupe's TC, he would have been behind because he would have had no town center, Yupe could have towered him. Yupe would have had an eco lead, so he figured I'd just try. I I can't really blame him. Uh, I, I don't think Red played that bad. I just feel as though <laughs> it's just what you you have to expect when playing the Legend of Yupe. 
Uh, there's the feudal age times. That is one of the weirdest timelines you will ever see. And congratulations, Yupe, you did it. You changed the age, age of Empires to meta, and you're probably on the way to making more people quit the game. <laughs> I love you, man. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Sony, don't quit, all right? You've provided us some great games, great entertainment, and I'll see you all next time. By the way, props to Ada Love Seal for being in my Twitch chat a whole day early. Thank you, Ada.